Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, uh, scale drawing. And for this particular lesson, we are going to So for this particular lesson, we are going to cover angle of elevation and angle of depression. We want to see what these are all about and what difference is there between angle of elevation and angle of depression. How are they different? So we have a, a few questions on uh, angle of elevation and angle of depression to help us with illustrations on how to solve problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll have some few questions in the form of assignment to help you practice and just to help you check on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So when you talk about angle of elevation and angle of depression, uh, the angle of elevation simply means the angle between the horizontal line, you see, you see this, this horizontal line here, horizontal line of sight and the line of sight up to an object. So line of sight is this one here. No, maybe maybe the eye was here. So this is the horizontal eye of sight. No, I mean uh, the horizontal line of line of uh, line of sight. This one here. So we mean this, and possibly you want to see something that is up. That's what we're talking about. Line of sight. You know, line of sight up. So you want to see something up there. So you have to move this line of sight up. So you see now it has been moved. So this becomes a line of sight up so that you are able to see this. So we talk of angle of elevation of a particular point. You see? Of a particular point. So you have to raise it up. You see? The arrow is indicating that you are raising the, the, the horizontal line of sight. You know? Up so that we are able to see an object that is up there. That is this angle here. The same applies to supposedly you had some you had someone viewing from this point. Okay. Then we have the horizontal uh, line of sight. So in that case, we are talking about angle of depression. So angle of depression, you move the horizontal line of sight down so they're able to see something that is down here. So an eye at A trying to see something at C will have to move the horizontal line of sight down down to an object at C. So the angle made is what we're calling the angle of depression. The angle of depression. The two are normally equal. So this equals to that. So that is important that you note that, that the two are equal in size. Because now this is the horizontal line and this is the horizontal line. So the two are parallel to each other. So the two angles could be called alternating angles. You know, the Z angles, the Z angles. So let's see a few examples of the same, how to solve problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. Having looked at what angle of depression is and what angle of elevation is as well. So we have a few examples to help us with illustration on what on how to solve problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. So we have the first one, a boy of height 1.5 five meters is uh, eight meters from a tree finds that so so maybe let me have a, a sketch so this is the tree so tree you see and then we have a boy So that is the horizontal line. So we have a horizontal line here. This is the ground. So then we have a boy. 
So the boy is 1.5 meters. So this is the boy. Okay. That is the tree. So the boy is 8 meters from the tree. So find that angle of elevation. So angle of elevation. So you need to move this. So you have to move the, the line of sight there. Then you have to also move the horizontal line of sight. So we're assuming this is the boy's eye. Okay, that is the boy's eye. So horizontal line of sight is there. So let me call this one M. This one is N and T is there. B is down here. Okay. So angle of relation is given to be 38 degrees. So find the height of the tree by scale drawing. So what we need is just this x. We'll, we'll, we'll find this x by geometry. So we'll have to construct this. So I will have to start with the line B, N. B is here, where the boy is. Maybe I could call this one. Uh, P. Then T could be somewhere here. And then M is there. So let me start with the line. So let me start with the line. BN. So I mark B first here. And then I measure. So maybe I'll use a scale of uh, what? One centimeter. To represent one meter okay so that way i need to measure eight meters i'm measuring eight centimeters so i measure eight centimeters okay so using b as the center and the radius of eight centimeters draw an arc so this is where n is then now i have to draw a line that is perpendicular to the line b n two lines huh? One at B and another one at N. Okay. Okay. So another one at N. So this is the vertical, this is the line perpendicular to the line BN and passing through B. If you are told to use the ruler and a pair, of, a pair of compasses only, you know what we did. You can check from our previous videos on what we did on this. How to construct a perpendicular. Then now you need to measure 1.5 centimeters from B. So 1.5 centimeters. So 1.5 centimeters So 1.5, so that is how tall. And then the other side, we will need to measure also 1.5. Okay. So we draw this line. That is the height of the tree. Now from there we need to measure the 38 degree angle. So zero mark of my protractor will be here. So I'm measuring 38 in the anti-clockwise direction. So the center is at 
the tip that's where i'm measuring from so i'm measuring 38 degrees the angle that is given there you see this angle here 38 degrees so 38 degrees is somewhere here so you draw a line through that and you shall have gotten how high the tree is so that's where t is Okay, so this angle here is 38 degrees. So we just need to measure the length. So this is M. So I need to measure the length MT. So MT, if I use a divider or a pair of compasses to measure, I get... Now actually I'm finding the length, the height of the tree. So it should be NT from here all the way up to up there. That length is uh, 7.6. So H, which is the height of the tree, 7.6 by 1, which is 7.6 what? Meters. That is how high the tree is. So that is how high the tree is, if you use geometry. So we have another example here. The angle of elevation of the top of a flag post from a point A. So again, we do the sketch first. We'll only sketch and then you'll try and construct. So the flag post is here. Then you have the horizontal line here. So this is point A. So So angle of elevation is given to be 36 degrees. So take note that this one, the horizontal and the vertical are perpendicular to each other. Yeah. So this distance is also given to be 14 what? 14 meters. So use scale drawing. So we'll do the same thing. You'll call this one M or B. And as well call it B. So you start with the line AB, and then you draw perpendicular through B, and then you measure this angle here, 36 degrees, and then where this meets, uh, this, this, this line meets the vertical line that becomes the top of the flag post, you can call it T. So that the height of the flag post is going to be the length T, B, and then use your, the scale that you have used to convert. So that is all. We have a few questions on the same to help you practice on what you have learned and also just to help you check on your understanding now. Just to help you practice and also to help you check on your understanding of the concept as has been discussed during this lesson. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time.
Goodbye.